My name is Mai Durr Vang. I was born in Fresno, California. My parents had eight kids. I have six sisters and one brother, so that makes uh, eight kids, including me. I do remember that we had a lot of challenges growing up, though, because my parents were still refugees, very recent refugees at that time. So we dealt with a lot of the same issues that a lot of other refugee families were going through. Um, for example, language issues. Still trying to learn how to speak English was such a big concern. Um, we also dealt with a lot of racism because we lived in a neighborhood where there was no Hmong people. And, and I remember it was challenging because, you know, sometimes we would get eggs thrown at our house and it was something that we didn't, my parents didn't understand, but they knew that it was not a good thing. It was, it was a, you know, it was an act of, of racism and, um, you know, one time some kids in our neighborhood spray painted on the side of our, our house the F words. So it was very, it was a very confusing moment because we, we were the same kid, age as these kids that were doing these acts. And a lot of times we really felt like we had to defend our family. Um, but I think that, I think those challenges made us stronger as a family and made us bond with each other, made us realize how, how important it is that we stick together as a family and, and strengthened our, our group as a family. So I think those are some of my most, um, most striking memories growing up as a child and, and, and you know, having to cope with the, with the challenges of being raised in a refugee family, but still, no matter what anybody tries to say to you, or that you have to be proud of who you are. I think my parents, they were supportive um, overall. The biggest challenge I guess came when when I decided to go away for college and at first that wasn't um, something that appealed to them because I was I was the second oldest in the family and I'd be the first to go away and I was a girl so it was it presented a lot of issues. Um, I think they consulted with the relatives and um, I think they came to the conclusion that it was going to be okay if I did go away. It would be positive for our family, for our, you know, relatives. It would be something that they could, you know, support me with. But I was surprised myself that they let me go. I did not think that they were going to let me go at all, especially because I was going by myself and that whole fear of letting go. So um, I'm really happy that they supported me, though, in, in going away. Um, I went to school at the University of California, Berkeley, and I obtained a bachelor's degree in English. I work for uh, Pacific News Service, New America Media, and I work as a youth media coordinator here in the Central Valley. New America Media is a huge network of over thousands of ethnic media organizations in the United States. So it's, it's a national organization. We're based in San Francisco, and our focus is to support those ethnic media outlets um, out there. For example, the Hmong language outlets, the Spanish language outlets, um, those media that serve ethnic communities. We often hear um, another point of view from the media. And so, so what we do is we work with communities and we work with ethnic media to help them raise their voice in the media and, and have a chance to tell their side of the story. I would say that I am an active youth. I'm really involved in a lot of things and I feel really proud because I came back to the Valley after I graduated from Berkeley with a whole sense of ambition, you know. I was very ambitious and really wanted to give something back. But you know, it's so hard to know where to start, especially when you come back into a place that's changed after four years. Once you start working and once you start getting out there and meeting people and, and, and working in the community, you really realize that you could have never learned all of that stuff in college. That it's just that human connection that you have that makes you proud of the work that you do. So I felt really proud that I was able to, to meet people, to connect with people, and to get myself into a place where, um, where I'm happy. You know, I'm, I'm so proud of the work that I'm doing. Um, and so I, I feel a great sense of pride and, and I hope that I can continue this work into the future. It's important to, to be proud of who you are as a Hmong person, to know your history, to know your roots, because that's what will really empower you to, to speak up 
for your people when, when the mainstream community is saying negative things. When you know your history and you know your roots and you know how the Hmong people have contributed to this country, how they um, fought in the war and defended the United States, a country they didn't even know ever existed, you have to really be proud of all that. You have to be proud of, our, of the history and of where your parents came from. And I think that will really uh, be the way to, to kind of learning more about who you are, understanding your identity as a Hmong person. And, and then that will naturally lead you back to, to your elders. I think it's just really empowering. Young people really wanting to empower themselves and you really should empower yourself to learn about who you are so you know where you fit in this huge society of ours.